Hi everyone, I'm Life Peng from Today's Inspiration and today I'm really excited to bring you a sneak preview of our just published book, The Art of the Real Tom Sawyer. This book's going to be available hopefully in a few days on Amazon and I'll have an announcement about that hopefully at the end of the week. So let's take a look. Okay, so here is the book. We, uh, we designed the book so that uh, it would follow Tom's career chronologically. Our foreword, and then uh, some of Tom's earliest work from his early teenage days. His early career began with uh, what would become one day Marvel Comics, but was Atlas Comics at the time. Uh, and he began as an assistant to his friend Leonard Starr and then eventually uh, became very popular with Stan Lee as an illustrator of romance comics. He did a lot of work at Atlas. Next chapter, Johnson and Cushing. Tom, of course, isn't just uh, an exceptional illustrator. He's also a really, really great professional writer and author. And so uh, he has written the uh, the text for every chapter of the book describing in his own words what his life was like uh, working for these different clients, working with other professional illustrators during the course of his career. Uh, and uh, so you get a lot of really, really great insight that gives the artwork uh, really, really great context. Next, syndicated comic strips. Uh, Tom's story of his life during this period is fascinating. And uh, what we've done here, again, is try to bring you some really, really interesting page layouts. Uh, this is when he was ghosting for uh, Stan Drake on The Heart of Juliet Jones and for John Prentice. This looks like John Prentice's work, but it's actually Tom ghosting. And here is uh, one of Tom's uh, own efforts at creating a uh, syndicated comic strip. And we reproduce this really nice and large so you can really appreciate the quality of his drawing uh, in these pages. Next is advertising. Uh, Tom did a lot of freelance advertising work in New York City. And what you'll find scattered throughout the book are Tom's reference photos, uh, Polaroids that he took at the time uh, he was working on these different jobs, which again provides a, a fascinating uh, context for a lot of this artwork. We go on to storyboards and then of course we come to what is really the major portion of the book and the thing that he is uh, ironically very famous for and yet largely until now unknown for um, his work for Harry Volk Studios creating clip art, hundreds and hundreds of booklets of clip art. So what we've tried to do here is reproduce the artwork in many cases, we had both the pencil and the finished artwork. So uh, what you'll often see is where we're, wherever possible, we've produced not just the finished artwork. And again, you can see that we tried to reproduce everything at a really nice large size. So you can really, really appreciate the quality of Tom's line work. Uh, we tried to include as much of this work as we possibly could. Pretty much everything we possibly could, we shot from Tom's actual originals. We, uh, we scanned them all at high resolution uh, to make sure that the book would have the best quality uh, reproduction possible. There's another example of Tom's artwork and his reference photo. Tom left the illustration industry and moved to Hollywood and became a screenwriter and film director and uh, eventually became the showrunner of Murder, She Wrote. I hope you enjoyed this sneak peek. Uh, I will make sure to uh, let everyone know as soon as this is available through Amazon, which again, as I said, I'm hoping will be in the next few days. Thanks for joining me today and I'll talk to you again soon.